Happy Friday, Arkansas fans. One day away from Arkansas versus LSU. 11 a.m. kickoff on ESPN, Donald W. Reynolds, Razorback Stadium. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's basketball season, Robert. I, I think that that's where the Arkansas fan base is at. Uh, we talked with Ron Higgins from Tigers TigerDetails.com, and he kind of said that, and we agree. And the people on our board over the trough over at Hogbeat.com, they agree. So it, it the, the, the football team has lost a little bit of interest from the fan base, but I'll tell you what, if they beat LSU on Saturday, tomorrow, Saturday, if they beat a top-10 LSU team, they run across that field, grab that golden boot. You're talking about a lot more interest getting into this football team. I mean, that's that's normally how it works, but it's just everybody is down after that loss to Liberty. Yeah, uh, to those of you who are listening to this right now, shout out to you for uh, for keeping the faith. Uh, but yeah, as you mentioned, you know, uh, a win over LSU tomorrow, uh, everybody's getting right back on the football wagon. So I don't know. I mean, I don't, I can't sit here and say I think it's likely but you know stranger things have happened in uh, Arkansas LSU meetings over the years so you know any given Saturday right yes that is true that is Robert Stewart I'm Mason Choate we're from hogbeat.com h-a-w-g-b-e-a-t.com go visit it we're the rivals website covering the Arkansas Razorbacks a lot of great content over there we'll be covering the Arkansas basketball game tonight uh, Arkansas versus Fordham so speaking of that Today's episode is the Bet Saracen episode. Every Friday, we do this episode in a partnership with Bet Saracen, which is the mobile sports gambling app as part of the Saracen Casino Resort. So they have player props out for Arkansas versus Fordham basketball. Those are out. Go visit that. Go download the app. You can get those player props. It's under the specials tab for that. Um, you know, don't go to college basketball. Go to specials. You'll get those player props there. A lot of stuff like assist points rebounds for individual players a lot of great stuff the only downside is robert is we might not get player props for football because and this is the reasoning that bet saracen gave because they don't know about the kj jefferson situation at quarterback so it's kind of difficult because a lot of the player props every week are centered around kj jefferson and so he's likely going to be a game time decision that's I, I think that we understand that. He was a game-time decision against Liberty last week. I would think it would be the same thing this week. So you might not get player props at Bet Saracen, but keep an eye on it. You can follow them on Twitter at Bet Saracen. So all we have to go with are the the generic lines of you know money line, spread, over, under, and team totals. So let's get into our picks, Robert. I'll let you go first. All right. Um, I mean, actually, the, the actually, line right now. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to pull up the uh, the website so you can see what we're talking about. Okay, there it is. All right, Robert, go ahead. This is this is good stuff here. Yes. Um, as you can see here, um, or maybe not, but uh, as it stands as as of this recording, the the line stands at LSU minus four and a half. I think that LSU is going to win this game by at least a touchdown. So I I would honestly the the LSU minus, minus six and a half at, at plus odds there uh, I think I think that's my pick of the week um, you know the the uncertainty surrounding the quarterback situation does not bode well for for the Razorbacks um, we know the last time KJ Jefferson didn't start Mississippi State won that game by twenty three points um, granted it was it was a road game you know they were coming off the, the loss against Alabama loss against A and M two weeks before that so. A um, little bit different situation, but also, you know, we heard from Ron Higgins in our interview yesterday that um, fast starts are, are going to be incredibly important for this Arkansas team. I mean, he didn't exactly say that, but that's my takeaway. LSU is good at making halftime adjustments on defense. Arkansas is not good at starting fast. So, I mean, if, if they're not going to be able to have much success in the, in the third and fourth quarters, then, you know, they, they have to score their points in the first and second. And I, I'm not really that confident in their ability to do that. So, um, you know, take take this for what you will. But my my pick of the week is LSU minus six and a half at, at plus one hundred five. There. All right. Um, I think in my score prediction, I had LSU winning forty to thirty five. So your your pick there wouldn't cover. But also, I'm no genius, and I'm I'm most certainly probably not going to be right. So um, <clears throat> my pick. I'm going to go with LSU team total over 
33 and a half. They scored at least 30 points on six different occasions this season. And I mean, the past two games, they've scored 45 against Ole Miss and 32 against Alabama. And so now they're going up against an Arkansas defense, which is likely way worse than Alabama's defense. <clears throat> I think we know that already. And uh, worse than Ole Miss's defense, too. And I mean, LSU put up 45 against Florida the game before the Ole Miss game. So uh, this is an LSU offense that is humming. We heard that from Ron Higgins. We know that they're playing at the highest level that they have all season long. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Brian Kelly's teams, he's hes won his past 16 or 17 games in November. I think it's 17. So this is a team that's not going to overlook Arkansas. Arkansas's defense, we know. I mean, they yes, they probably played their best game of the season last week against Liberty, but that was Liberty in a third-string quarterback. Now you're talking about one of the hottest quarterbacks, not only in the SEC, but in the country in Jaden Daniels. It's an LSU offense that has a ton of weapons out wide at wide receiver. They got a freshman tied in that is really good, and they're humming. Like I said earlier, I mean, this is a team that is playing its best football right now offensively for sure, and so I just don't see the Arkansas defense being able to limit them to under 34 points. I just don't. Um, I, I mean, we can go through the Arkansas uh, games that they've played. I mean, we talked about the Liberty game. Auburn, awful offense. They gave up 35 to BYU, who was a good offense, 40 to Mississippi State, 49 to Alabama. We know the A&M game was weird, uh, 30 to South Carolina. And that, that was early in the year when they were still somewhat healthy. So you're talking the games that this is the defense that we've really been watching. They've given up at least 34 points, aside from, of course, the Liberty game and a really bad Auburn offense. And you're talking about an LSU offense this week with Jaden Daniels. Incredible, incredible quarterback. This offense is playing its best football. So if you look on the screen, if you're watching on the YouTube, you can see all of these different lines and odds that you can take. I mean, there's so many different options, and this isn't even including the player props. So um, get in, get on get on here. Get to bet Saracen and mess around with all this. Take all you want. I mean, you got first half spreads, first quarter total points, all this cool stuff. And, of course, during the game, you can live bet as well. So um, get to bet Saracen. You can visit it on the computer. I found that it's a little bit more difficult because you have to download some kind of location thing. If you get it on your phone, it's a lot easier. Download the mobile app, place your bets there. And uh, that's what we got for you. Uh, like I said earlier, if we had player props, it would be a lot more interesting. But with the K.J. Jefferson, Malik Hornsby situation at quarterback, it's a little bit you know, dicey. They don't want to mess with that. They don't want to put K.J. odds on there, and then he ends up not playing. So, um, But like I said, basketball, you can get those basketball player props. If you go to specials, go on the app, go to the specials tab, and you can get the basketball player props for tonight's game. Arkansas Fordham, that's going to be at 7 o'clock. We'll have you covered with everything you need to know at hogbeat.com. Uh, and same same situation tomorrow for the football game. We'll have you covered with everything you know need to know at hogbeat.com. Robert, are you ready for the cold weather? Oh man, I mean it's it's been so warm. I've been wearing shorts for the first two weeks of November, and all of a sudden we have to go back to what November should feel like. So I don't know. I mean, I was I was unprepared for the somewhat cold weather weather last week against Liberty. So I'm I'm really unprepared for for tomorrow. I think. Yeah, you better layer up. I'm I'm sure they'll close the windows in the press box, so we'll be fine. I don't know. I feel like they would. I I, I, I don't I remember I a beanie I, just in case. Yeah, uh, for real. I I don't remember covering a game at at that stadium in which the windows were closed. So, huh, okay, we'll figure out when we get there. And everybody who's listening to this, I'm assuming most of you will be there in the crowd. So bundle up for that game. It should be fun. It's Arkansas LSU. It's always fun. I'm hoping that it's interesting. You know, I was I was gonna do a story uh, about like you know how uh, incredible and crazy this series has been, but I was looking back and I forgot that Chad Morris was the coach of Arkansas, and so that kind of screwed things up. But I mean, even with Chad Morris there, there was that game in Fayetteville. I think it was 2019. I've got it here. One second. 18. Uh, 2000. Yeah, 2018. It was a 24-17 game. Like. That was, that was And that was against number 13, LSU, with Chad Morris as the head coach. So, like, if that tells you anything, it tells you that, you know, anything can happen in this series. We know last year's game was crazy, too, with the overtime, Cam Little game-winning kick. So, it should be fun. I'm excited. Yeah, it's, it's always fun. All right. Well, we'll talk to everybody on Monday with our reactions from the game. But until then, go to hogbeat.com. 
and uh, check out all of the content we have over there. But before we go, I want to remind you real quick about our friends at MyPerfectFranchise.net. You've heard about them. It's Andy Ledecky, longtime Rivals member and a franchise veteran. He's owned multiple franchises and businesses, and he wants to help you do the same it's a thorough, thorough process. It's free, so all you got to do is call him, and he'll walk you through it. He'll get you set up with getting your own franchise and making some more money. Call him, 404-973-9901, or visit MyPerfectFranchise.net for more details. All right, Robert, talk to you and talk to everybody else on Monday.